the people I've met, like from all around the world. I, I just, like now I look forward to going to the Nationals. And it's just been a great chance to get together. And it was the same when I was traveling the world. And it was just an incredible opportunity for me. I went back in, well, I was injured in 2000. And I was introduced to tennis right after that uh, as part of therapy. But September 2004, Jim Shannon, who was the guy that he was with BCSPCA at the time, said, why don't you come out and try curling? So I was actually playing that day in the national tennis tournament over at Hollyburn Country Club. So I packed up and ran over to Marple Curling Club. They were out on the kind of pushing mud on the ice. Someone out there, of course, you try to throw my hand. Well, that doesn't work very well, but I had these extender sticks. So I tried that and I thought, yeah, this will work. And by November that year, I was in Toronto playing in my first national championship. So it was a good fit. Yeah, I went to the Nationals uh, four years in a row. I uh, came fourth out of four teams the first year. Then I won the bronze, then silver. And won a gold in 2007, and from there was invited to try out for Team Canada and was successful. So I went to Switzerland in 2008, played in my first Worlds. And in 2009, we won the Worlds, and in Vancouver 2010 was the gold. And at the Olympics, yeah, it at home was just extra special, but just to be there was just an experience. You know, I don't think words can you know, really say just how incredible it was. I mean, to be there, and the grandstands they had were all metal, so it was like 5,000 kids in there stomping their feet. The noise was deafening. Uh, we almost felt sorry for the other teams that were trying to play, because every time you know, Canada put a rock in, in the rings, then, then, uh, you know, the place just exploded. And they said, you know, just something they'd never experienced out there. It was just absolutely phenomenal. Like being in the Paralympics, it's just being on you know, your wildest dream, number one. I guess when I was younger, I always said, there's no way I will ever be in a chair. It just, you know, it's not, not part of me. You know, it'll never happen. And if it does, you know, I probably don't want anything to do with it. But, you know, you just don't know until, until you're there. 2011, another gold in Prague. 2012, went to Korea and came home with a very serious blood infection. After I got over, you know, the infection in Korea, I did colon cancer in July of 2014. Got over that and went back to curling, won the nationals. And then 2016, I was inducted into the Hall of Fame, the Curling Hall of Fame. So once I joined Team Canada and got together with Jim Armstrong, who was a six-time Briar curler as an able body, Arsene and I just realized you know, the incredible ability of uh, reading ice and strategy and just his ability. I mean, a practice session for him and I used to be 10 ends one-on-one, you know, three times a week. So that's like 80 rocks each session. And you know, we just were kind of like brothers out there, and it was it was an incredible experience to, just to play with him and you know, be on the same team. And then we had Sonia Gaudet and Ina Forrest, who were just you know second to none in the world. So yeah, it was it was an incredible six years that I had with Team Canada.